favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. There it is. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six and a half on my back because I have yours. We're going to see what you're dealing with, your emotions, your feelings, maybe dealing with the situation. And then after that, we're going to pull a couple more cards at the end. We're going to go ahead and pull tarot, and then we're going to end it out with the uh, crystal deck, focusing on the chakras and also the four agreements. Um, yeah, secretive and then controversy. You've been going through some type of controversy. The controversy is you contemplating um, when it comes to somebody hiding information from you, and you just don't like it. So, therefore, it's controversial, and the truth will eventually come out if it hasn't come out already we're going to go ahead and pull from this card deck i can't think of the name of it um but we're going to pull from this card deck to see what else is uh happening when it comes to these secrets uh the card that turned over is friendly love harmony and respect this is somebody that you respect who you felt like could be your rock or you were their rock but again you recognize their strengths and therefore you didn't think that there would be any type of contemplation when it came to moving forward with this individual person, place, thing, or situation. Um, this could be in regards to a job. This could be in regards to just, you know, the daily things. So recording is here, and a situation is about to explode. So, yeah, the things are happening. Like I said, what I don't know if I said it, but what comes to the, what happens in the dark always comes to the light, and you realize who your real, real friend are real friends are um, in regards to having fake ones and so somebody is going to reveal the truth when it comes to what you've been going through and um, yeah you've been a friendly person you've respected um, this person place thing or situation and here it is you feel you see that it yeah it's going to break your heart and yeah phoenix but of course you're always going to rise rise from the ashes but you thought this person was your friend but at this uh at the same time they broke your heart so the telepathic oracle telepathy oracle deck um all the cards want to come out because you have to trust your intuition in regards to this yeah challenge yeah this is going to be a challenge for you bottom of the deck of synchronicities you've seen the signs you understand what's been happening it says the divine soul matches have amazing moments of synchronicities but it, it takes time in order for you to be able to get to a situation where um, it says link the bond of love grows stronger over time and it says let time uh, forget those scars and then it says a challenge it's going to be a challenge for you to be able to let things go but at the same time you have to understand and trust in the universe and understand that you know you're going to feel sad you're going to be lost you're going to do feel all these different emotions but when it comes to yeah, maybe this was a soulmate. If this is meant, it was meant, or the universe will send, it says re relationship connecting. So if it was meant, then the universe will send signs and synchronicities to you and basically give this person a moment to, to heal. But if not, the universe will send its equivalent, uh, somebody who is their like kind or somebody who you felt you probably didn't even look at in a situation to where you could trust them. But whatever you were trusting in in the beginning, whatever you were giving your all to and, you know, loving, uh, being loving, harmonious and respectful to cause uh, you turmoil. And so only time will tell what it is that you need to do or how you can get through this. But um, during that ascension process, that card try to come out. Yeah, you have to practice leadership. You have to really know and focus on what it is to be a leader and how when leaders have to make decisions, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart, um, they have to make heart over head decisions or head over heart decisions, but the leader will basically be able to overcome everything when it comes to ascending and um, dealing with uh, the pain of the past. And so only thing you can do is move forward, yeah, and take a chance, roll the dice um, at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, children is here. So again, back to this is somebody who you thought you could trust, somebody who you thought you could go to distance with, but again, you had to take a chance and roll the dice and know that this is somebody you wanted to lead you, but at the same time, you had to be able to understand that, yeah, time to take a risk. You had to take a risk on yourself, and only time will tell what this person or if this person is an everlasting uh, soulmate and if the relationship is worth connecting, uh, reconnecting 
or rekindling. Uh, so this is your energy that I'm pulling tarot on to see what comes out. But yeah, you had to make a, a decision and, uh, you know, whatever it came out of that decision is because you saw proof, you knew the proof, and basically you contemplated it. This person was very sneaky. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. So you planted the seed and had to t uh, move forward when it came to you and the way you felt. And the uh, I was going to say the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands energy is here. This is you having courage and going after your desires. But at the same time, it's easier said than done. You can't you know you can't put all your eggs in one basket so the only thing you can do is pull your energy back four of cups energy came this energy yeah queen of pentacles is here so the four cups energy is um having you know basically having the um insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness that's really five of cups but you know you having to disconnect and pull your energy back so instead of doing that you know what it is that you have to do but at the same point you need to withdraw but um you have to kind of align yourself in the same process and yeah the hermit energy this is when you go out for soul searching this is somebody who you trusted uh this is somebody who broke your heart who you trusted and you know queen of pentacles uh, like JDS Tarot used to say, I haven't heard him say it in a while, um, uh, but he used to say that the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself. And when it comes to the toxicity of the Queen of Pentacles, I'll clarify this with the um, with this Tarot deck to see what energy comes out. Let's see, it came out Seven of Pentacles first. And seven years you've been dealing with this and having to make a decision in regards to what it is that you need to do. And so... Again, this person broke your heart. You had to go out and soul search. We're going to clarify the Seven of Pentacles to see what this person did while you were building and trusting. Yeah, uh, this person was real standoffish. Uh, and while you were building, you probably was that same way. This person was, um, I, I would say this person was very direct and harsh. And now they're looking at it. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles because it, it it's unsure. You know, they're looking at everything, what, you know, how they did things how they set boundaries and how blunt they were with you and why you decided to just go off on your own seven of pentacles energy and start planting seeds yeah the knight of pentacles so this person wasn't willing to do the work when it came to the situation uh where it came to you knight of pentacles in the reverses you know this is like uh they felt stuck they feel stuck now you know um and now they have to look at everything from them being a perfectionist Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles from them being a perfectionist and wanting things to realize that they really did hurt you. And only time will tell if you will take this person back. So the Knight of Pentacles is what we're clarifying. They didn't want to do the work when it came to this situation. This is somebody who is, you know, um, probably into themselves. Yeah, the um, Nine of Pentacles energy. Nine of Pentacles energy is like they have to understand that in order for them to have everything that they want, to have that financial independence, the self-sufficiency, the luxuries that, um, you know, comes with a relationship or a situation, they have to really hunker down and look at things from a different perspective and complete what the, the healing situation that needs to be done. They need to heal, and it's nothing that you can do. Sorry, I'm scooting my seat up. Ace of Wands energy, you had the courage to be able to walk away. Yeah, Chariot energy, our energy. Yeah, you had the courage to walk away. Uh, when it came to the ace of wands and now they have to have the courage to be able to come towards you but uh the four of pentacles energy or excuse me the four of cups energy comes unsure with the ten of cups so they're unsure if you want anything with them uh because you pulled your energy back let's clarify the ten of cups energy you pulled your energy back and basically yeah queen of pentacles um you're looking at things in a different perspective so they have to you pulled your energy back and here it is because you're not nurturing a situation, now they have to be the nurturer of these situations and be able to lead. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out, and we're going to clarify that. Um, the Queen of Pentacles energy, you know, this is, uh, yeah, it comes with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So um, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse basically is, where is it at? Here, somewhere. I want to say it's right here. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. So you're working on them yourselves. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is basically at a point to where they're looking um, They're looking at certain things like the, the success, the lack of success that they've had since you walked out of their lives. And let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles 
in the reverse to see what else comes out. Yeah, mm -hmm. nine of wands energy. So that they have to learn to set boundaries and do things and be able to manifest the way that you um, you showed them how. You showed them, you know, even though they weren't listening, now they're going back and reflecting on what it is and what you did and why you're so successful because without you, they're struggling. And so they're mimicking your energy um, basically, so the nine of, uh, excuse me, the nine of pentacles, nine years, it's been seven years. You decided, you know what? Only thing I can do is work on myself, the chariot and move forward with courage, you know, be courageous about it. You contemplated it. And now everything is about to explode. Situations are about to explode because here it is, this person loves and adores you, but they had to pull a card from your deck and say, you know what? cancer nurtured this situation and she would have gave he or she would have gave me everything that I wanted and um, I didn't want to set those boundaries with other people that were around them and now I'm ready to do it I'm ready to manifest while you're soul searching and realizing that this was a fake relationship for them you had to be strong and be able to you know trust in the signs and synchronicities and say hey if this is meant it's meant and if it's not it's not so that's kind of how I see that where the contemplation is, is like, if they do come back around, you're going to contemplate that because again, the time and the challenges that you spent and how heartbroken you were because you thought this would be a soulmate. So it was something that you wanted to last forever. However, you know, the proof of what they were doing were the things that made you pull your energy back, if that makes sense. So I think that was a good read. I'm going to go ahead and end this and pull from the crystal deck. It's the blue, blue child, child, Sidoni, Chal Sidoni, and then I pull from the Four Agreements, which is take your life, uh, your life and enjoy it, which is always do your best. You done your best in this situation. There's nothing else that you can do. Is the cards are on, in in their corner. You know everything is in their corner now on what they need to do, how they need to heal. You've already did it. They're mimicking you basically and setting the boundaries with everyone else on the outside. That I want to say played a role this could be childhood energies that played a role in a part of it of of this this breakup because they were harsh at some point it says you are alive so take your life and enjoy it you were born with the right to be happy to love and to share your love just to be it says take to take a risk and enjoy your life is all that matter matters and so you learned that and so basically with the blue child Sidoni. It's the third eye and the throat chakra. If you want to know about my interpretation of the four agreements and also the chakras, uh, you can click the link above. It says tranquility, protection, and service. You've, you've done everything. Uh, Queen of Pentacles here, you pulled your energy back. You reached this plateau of there's nothing else I can do in this situation. Everything that I found out, everything, the sneaky, the fake, the fake energies, the heartbreak, I I have to lead myself and take risks for myself. It's not about another situation. So it says, I am filled with creativity and optimism. I am filled with creativity and optimism. And that's how you are able to move forward with the situation. You're not going to let anything hold you back anymore. Um, I'm going to pull from the karmic partner. I know I normally would end this. You guys, happy birthday. I love you guys. Uh, you know, I rock with you. I got your six. I hope you have mine. But, um, yeah, let me pull from this uh, Twin Flame Soulmate and Karmic Partner deck to see what comes out, and then we'll go ahead and end it. Um, yeah, but you you have the ability to be able to, yeah, Karmic. So this was a Karmic situation in the past, and so the possibilities might be there, Twin Flame Soulmate. It says, there's potential in this relationship. However, know that this could translate to being a project, and it's, up to you to decide if it's worth it so the manifestation the things even if they work on it it's still up to you relationship connecting um at some point again this is the the karmic energies that you had to deal with it says even though this is the karmic connection is it meant to uh it is meant to help you grow and heal so that you may find your true soulmate or twin flame so this might not be the person that you're going to go back with again the soulmate energy is like no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This is the karmic uh, relationship that taught you how to take a chance and to lead and to roll the dice. And so there might be someone else coming your way. You just have to be open to the universe and being open to receive. A lot of the times we pull our energy back and we're afraid to receive when it comes to dealing with 
uh, the karmic energies that we've been a part of. And so with that being said, we just will let allow things to just pass us by. Um, I'm going to pull from the 78, what is this? 78 stories deck. I think that's what it's called to see. And I said I was going to end it, but who is this new person that's coming into your life? You need to know. I need to know. But again, this could be somebody that, yeah, judgment, a realization, two of wands energy. So with the two of wands energy, you're looking and you're, you're basically um, making um, plans for the future, you know, like um, you might be leaving, you might be making these decisions for growth. But in that same realization, when it comes to the judgment energy, you have to understand that you, you are the one that have to face your fears and you, you know, making decisions to walk away that brings in new energies. And sometimes we just have to know and go with the flow. And then guess what? Yeah. Moon energy, the unknown. So if you look at this energy here, there is a person standing here with a flashlight and somebody at the, um, at the gate and you know, that mysterious energy of not knowing what this person place or situation may want the moon energy. You have to remember that the universe will send things to you in the most mysterious, crazy ways. And so this could be somebody. Yeah, but it, it takes for you to be able to trust. It takes for you to be able to trust and, to uh, end things first that no longer serve you tower energy, but the tower energy says, um, let me see if I can read it. Sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And that's what you've been doing. And to clarify this energy, the person that's coming into your life, this card tried to come over. Stairway to light. It says stairway to light. The unsure energy is coming in. Stairway to light. This person is going to be um, a bright, a breath of fresh air, but you have to be able to go, uh, the direction, the opposite direction of what you've been going in before. And the King of Swords in the reverse is going to be a little bit different than the person that you've been dealing with, or the King of Swords in reverse could be the past person that you were dealing with. But the King of Swords in the reverse is somebody who, um, misuses their power and, um, also needs to discover their inner truth. So this King of Swords in the reverse is not somebody that you want. I think it's just the person that you left. Yeah, in order for you to get to get out of this Ten of Swords energy, um, which is feeling like this person backstabs you, and to get in the Nine of Cups energy, start taking care of yourself again and start uh, getting to the point to where you're emotionally stable. And then once you do that, yeah, and you stop being unsure about love and the Knight of Cups following your heart, um, the Ace of Cups energy if you're if, when you stop being unsure about all of these energies, the Ace of Cups, the lover's energy, doing what makes your heart happy or the love um, or the Knight of Cups energy, you know, following your heart, then guess what happens? Yeah, see, in the Four of Swords energy, pulling your energy back. Yeah, the Ten of Coins will come. And that was kind of unsure. It'll come, but you have to stop doubting it. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Excuse me, the Ten of Pentacles. So 10 years. It takes you to get out of the situation to where, yeah, you start to have clarity about, yeah, and trusting in your intuition because the King of Cups energy, you can't have that King of Cups energy if you don't trust in your intuition. But the Six of Wands lets you know that you're going to be victorious if you just understand that you're going to find somebody that's going to work with you. But the Ace of Swords, it's like you have to have the clarity of what you really want and recognize your strengths. With this, which is the strengths cards and the possibilities of what could happen and what can be brought forward to you. So I think that is a really good read for this. And I already said um, the did the crystal deck and the, um, what is it called? The crystal deck and the four agreements. And I pulled more cards and I'm pulling another one. But I just feel like you have to be able to make uh, decisions, entrepreneurial decisions. Yeah. So, and not be afraid to walk away. Freedom of time. Now, I, I I listened to something today. Actually, it's crazy that just came out. Um, It says the freedom to do whatever you want with your time is one of the ultimate benchmarks of, the abundant li of, of an abundant life. You are the master of your schedule. So, I was listening to something earlier. I forget what it was called. But they were talking about your freedom. Take your freedom back when it comes to... um the trauma of the past. So 
um, the situation that I was watching, um, and it just came on. It was a random video from YouTube. It, it just came on, and what it was talking about is this girl and her mother's relationship. She let the karmic relationship with her mother take away from her time to be free and to um, so so basically it was like release that be free of that energy and I am I you know it might be easier said than done um, but yeah stop contemplating you can have everything you want from the dream home if you just believe and walk away from the things that no longer serve you and this is meaning that you're going to recognize your strengths, have a career change, and do everything that you need to do to fully align. So it says, does your career fully align with who you are physically, emotionally, and spiritually? But it's not just career, it's relationships, it's situationships, it's family, it's all of these things. But is it setting you free? Um, can you have the things that you want? Or do you believe that you can have the things that you want? These are two keys for you to be able to understand. Three keys, actually. But these are all unsure. You don't believe that you're able to do this and have all of these things because you're afraid to move forward. And that's where the key to freedom is. So it says, uh, uh, again, the freedom to do whatever you want with your time is one of the ultimate benchmarks of an abundant life. You are the master of your schedule. And then the dream home says when, when you are living your best life every day, your dream home is actually is, is your actual home. And so wherever you are, you have to make, uh, do with the situations you have to be happy with what you have in order to move forward with the things that you don't have and then it says believe when you're wholeheartedly and when you wholeheartedly embrace the attainability of your dreams you will find the courage to exceed the ordinary and that's why it says here the ace of swords clarity i got this job and it's just two different card decks telling you to change your career and the walk away it says whatever you're doing now isn't working for you but are you willing to walk away to make room for something better? And that is the things that you need to ask yourself because, again, with you understanding that this situation will keep repeating itself until you learn the lessons and set the boundaries that you need, and if this person comes back around and isn't healed the way that they need to be, then the only thing that you can do is work on yourself and then take those leaps, take the risk, which is the dice here, Take the risk that you need in order for you to move forward. But you can have anything you want. T.I., you can have whatever you like. So there you go. Let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.